Don't you start on me, Tom. Ah, oh, no, I'm killing myself, and I have to pack it in, because I can live my life without it, and all that pish, all right? You've told us before, just like my old lady. I don't know what it does for us, Tom. Honestly, I don't. I guess it makes life seem more real to us. That life's boring and futile. <laughs> we start off with high hopes and then we bottle it. Because we realise that we're all going to die without finding out any of the big answers. Basically, we live a short, disappointing life and then we die. So we fill up our lives with shite. Things like careers and relationships to delude ourselves. That it's not all totally pointless. Smack is an honest drug because it strips away the delusions. With smack, when you feel good, you feel immortal. When you feel bad, it just intensifies the shite that's already there. Smack is really the only honest drug because it doesn't alter your consciousness. It just gives you a hit. A sense of well-being, and after that you see the misery of the world as it really is, and you can't anesthetise yourself against it. <laughs> it's also a good fucking kick. You see, my problem... You see, my problem is that whenever I sense the possibility, or realise the actuality of obtaining something that I thought I wanted, like a girlfriend, money, mates, education, whatever it is, just seems dull and sterile. And that's I can't value it anymore. Junk is different though. You can't turn your back on it so easily. It won't fucking let you. Trying to manage a junk habit is the ultimate challenge. I mean, it's fucking real.